Virar is a city in India, part of the Mumbai metropolitan region. Virar is also a part of Visai Virar Municipal Corporation in Palgar district of Maharashtra state in Konkan division. Virar railway station is the northernmost railway station on the western line of Mumbai Suburban Railway. Real estate has been booming in Virar because of its tourism and because of big construction players like Rustam G. HDIL, which has already constructed the buildings. People from many places have migrated and have started making a living here. Virar is being eyed as a major development city. Virar is the place of Maharashtrans and there is an amount of diversities. There are types of places and beaches like Arnala Beach, Rajodi Beach, etc. Types of it is A Town. Geography The climate of Virar is tropical. Virar is in Visai Taluka, Palgar district, Maharashtra, India. Metropolitan Mumbai is located near Virar. History The name Virar, as some believe, actually comes from the god Ekavira. Just as Tunga Parvat becomes Tunga R, similarly, Vira becomes Vira R. There is a huge temple of Eka Vira Devi on the banks of Vaitarna River at the foothills Tunga Parvat. This is now totally broken by the continuous raids of Mohammedans and Portuguese in the last 400 years, where people used to conclude their Sherparaka Yatra, as described in the Puranas and local legends. There is a huge tank here dedicated to Eka Vira Devi called Virar Tirtha, i.e., Eka Vira Tirtha. Even today, on the west banks of Virar Tirtha, one finds a carved stone about three feet long and nine inches broad. Below that is a group of female figures of the yoginis of Ekavira Devi. Nearby one can find a stone with a roughly cut cow and calf Savatsa Denu, a symbol of Gavardhana Math which symbolizes eternity or moksha. Moving ahead near the foot of a knoll of rock are two cows' feet gopad, roughly cut in rock. Demographics As of 2011 India census, Virar had a population of 1,221,233, of which male and female are 649,535 and 571,698 respectively. Virar has an average literacy rate of 91.95%, higher than the national average of 59.5%, male literacy is 81%. Over a period of time Virar has become a cosmopolitan suburb with approximately 70% population being Marathi speaking and the rest a mix of other communities, mainly the Catholics and the Gujaratis, 70% of the population is below 30 years. The slow and gradual adoption of the cosmopolitan nature of the city is the result of migration from the Mumbai mainland to this part due to ever-increasing cost of the real estate property. Among minority languages, Gujarati is spoken by 16.16% of the population and Hindi by 25.31%. Education <inaudible> 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 The city's public school system is managed by the Education Ministry of the Government of Maharashtra. Hence the syllabus is under the state pattern devised by the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education. There are also other private schools who offer syllabus under Central Board of Secondary Education and Indian Certificate of Secondary Education guidelines besides the state pattern. The late Sri Vishnu Waman Thakur Charitable Trust Viva College and the Agashi Virar Arnala Education Society are the two most prominent bodies which have opened many institutes offering education ranging from kindergarten to PhD degrees in Virar. One can get graduate and postgraduate degrees in arts, commerce, commerce, management studies and technology through these institutes. For primary education schools such as John the 23rd in Agashi, MGM and National in the Vera West vicinity were the main ones for English medium in the early 90s. And now you have international schools with CBSE and ICSE like Muljibai Mehta and Rustam G International School. Topic: <laughs> Tourism and places of attraction. 
Despite being in close proximity to the ever busy lifestyle of Mumbai, Virar manages to be a well known tourist place for many reasons. Jivdani <inaudible> <inaudible> Temple It is famous throughout the country for its only temple of goddess Jivdani, which is located around 1375 steps above the ground level, atop a hill in the eastern part of the city. People from far away places come to take the blessings of the goddess. It is too much crowded especially during the Navratri festival. Many people in the region especially the Agri, Mangalas, the Kolas and the Bandaris, worship the goddess as their family deity. The Papadkandi Dam situated at the foothills, was one of the major source of fresh water in the location, but is not enough because of the growing population of Virar. Vajreshwari Temple Vajreshwari is famous for its temple and hot water springs. It is mentioned in ancient Puran or holy books as a place blessed by the footsteps of Lord Rama and Lord Parashuram. In medieval ages Vajreshwari was known as Vadvali. It was called Vajreshwari after reincarnation of Vajrayogini in the Vajreshwari area. There are 52 steps to climb up to the main temple. It offers a commanding view of surrounding area from the temple. The view is beautiful during monsoon when all the surrounding fields are cultivated with rice fields and all the vegetation is emerald green. There are hot water springs in the Vajreshwari area as well as in Ganeshpuri and in Akloli. The hot water springs are a must bath for Vajreshwari Devi devotees. The springs have high sulfur content and is believed to cure many skin ailments. Baranda Devi Mandir Baranda Devi Temple is located near Papadhindi Dam, a top hill in the eastern part of the city. Uttamrao Padal Udian Uttamrao Padal Udian is botanical garden in the Papadhindi area of Virar. Spread over an area of four acres near the famous Shiv Mandir of Papadhindi it is built with the help of Maharashtra Van Vibhag Maharashtra Forest Department. It has a collection of various trees and types of flowers with information displayed on the boards. Also a nursery is set up in the Udian for growing rare plants. Major attractions in the garden include the Panchavati Bog, the Navgraha Bog and the Aromatic Bog within the garden to name a few. Holy Spirit Church The Holy Spirit Church is located in Nandakal, a village and parish in Virar West. The church is believed to be 450 years old and was built by Portuguese after their arrival to Visay region. But the old structure has undergone several repairs and constructions over the years. St. Peter's Church This church was erected in the early part of the 20th century and was one of the first under the Archdiocese of Bombay. Fr. Ismail da Costa, built a hut chapel in 1919 near Arnala Beach. Later with help from local people of all faiths he constructed the Church of St. Peter. Archbishop Joachim Lima Archbishop of Bombay blessed the church on 27 December 1931. Other historical churches in neighborhood are St. James Church Agashi and Church of Holy Spirit Nandakal. St. James Church The St. James Church located at Agashi on the road connecting Virar and Arnala, was first built in 1558. Portuguese were the best known seafarers among the European clans who built homes near the sea wherever they went. Agassi, the then small port village was one such place. Owing to its nearness to the sea and availability of wood from the jungles, which the Portuguese needed for boat building and constructions, Agassi soon became a permanent settlement for the Portuguese. The St. James Church that came into being during this early period was built using stones and bricks hence it withheld during the Muslim attacks of 1594. But during the raids of Marathas of 1739 it was mostly destroyed. 
The Marathas however permitted the priests to carry on religious ceremonies in the region and the church was rebuilt by 1760. In the year 1900 the church was renovated. <laughs> Jain Temple For Jain community Jain, Dharavasi and others all around Mumbai, this Jain temple located at Agashi, about 5 km from the station is very famous amongst Jains who visit this place daily and specially on Saturdays, as it is one of the very old temples in Mumbai and the adjoining region. This 400-year-old temple has beautiful old carvings of the lords of Jain community like Sri Mahavir, Lord Gantagaran Bhagavan and some specially decorated carvings of old times. Agashi Temple also has overnight staying options for tourists traveling from far distance, especially for commuters coming to visit from all over Mumbai. Also due to people's demand a new Jain Temple at Agashi has been developed with beautiful looks and spacious environment. This place is specially crowded during Jain Samvatsari, which is one of the special day when the Jains meet there for saying Machami Dukadam which means sorry if ever I'd hurt you. Let's begin with a new start. Topic. Beach and resorts The famous Arnala Beach and Rajodi Beach is situated just a few km west of the railway station, some others are, Navapur Beach and Vitar Beach, just a few minutes away from Rajodi Beach, most of these beaches are secluded and serene. These are a favorite spot for the teenagers and elderly alike. There are regular state transport buses and autos that carry the tourists to the beaches from the railway station. There are many resorts such as the Shadich Water Park and Resort, Arnala Beach Resort, Anand Resort, Padal Resort, Yesh Resort, the Green Paradise Resort, Swagat Resort, etc. that have come up recently owing to the increase in number of people coming from the main city land. The major occupation of farmers near Arnala Beach is floriculture and they cultivate wide variety of flowers. They also cultivate rice and various varied variety of vegetables. N. Topic amusement parks Yazoo Park by Rustam G. Yazoo Park, developed by Rustam G., spread over 12 acres was started in 2011. Yazoo Park is the center point of attraction with so many international level rides and games. People of the Virar and nearby area from Borivali to Dahanu visit Yazoo Park with family and kids. It is located at Global City, near Narangi Pada level crossing about 10 minutes from Virar Railway Station. It boasts of entertainment such as toy trains, giant wheel, merry-go-round, free fall, game zone, bumpum cars, floating restaurant, etc. www.globalcity.i The Great Escape Water Park located near the Western Express Highway, off the Vajreshwari Parol Bhavandi Road is a picnic place with water park rides, picturesque environment and a variety of food facilities and cuisine like Gujarati, Chinese and continental food. Sports Virar is the closest and the best place near Mumbai for paragliding training. Being a coastal area the winds at Virar are laminar, predictable and ideal for aviation sports. Early morning and evening winds are suitable for beginners and mid and early afternoon conditions are perfect for advanced flyers. Black Beauty Hill, Twin Rock Hill, Jibdani Hill, Tungareshwar, Kaner Hills are a few locations for hill flying. Virar is the only place near Mumbai with so many choices all in a radius of about 6 km. Virar has hundreds of acres of open land where winch-based training is conducted by Space Apple. Website is www.paraglidingmumbai.com. Visai Virar Kala Krita Mahatsav is an annual sports event for the sportsperson of Virar and the neighboring localities. The event has been a great success for the last 17 years, with participation coming from regional schools, colleges and grampanchayats. Other games like karate and Koko have created state-level players. Every year this event is conducted at the year-end precisely from 26 December to the New Year's Night at the Chimajapa Playground and the New English School, Visai. Heritage sites. Arnala Fort is located on a small island off the Arnala port. Since the fort is built on an island and surrounded on all sides by water it is also known as Jaldurg or Janjir Arnala. The Portuguese called the island Ilha das Vacas. 
which means island of the cows in Portuguese. Before the Portuguese control of the island, the island was controlled by the Muslim rulers of Gujarat. The island is near the mouth of Vitarna River and the Portuguese used it to observe and control shipping and navigation along the western coast. The Portuguese captain of Bassein donated the island to a Portuguese nobleman. The nobleman tore down the old fort and began construction of 700-foot by 700-foot fort. The fort was never completed by the nobleman but remained under Portuguese control. The Sai Fort Bassein Fort is also located nearby. The Portuguese established a fort in Bassein, present-day Visay, on the mainland just north of the Bombay archipelago. The fort was fronted by a harbour. With this as the main base, they built other smaller forts, and strong houses in many of the islands. In the 18th century the fort was attacked by the Marathas under Baji Rao Peshwa, and fell in 1739 after a three-year-long campaign. The remains of the fort can be reached by bus or taxi from the Visay railway station. The ramparts overlook Visay Creek and are almost complete, though overgrown. Several watch towers still stand, with safe staircases leading up. <laughs> Bollywood connection Govinda, a leading Bollywood superstar of current period, voted as the 10th greatest star of stage or screen of the last thousand years by BBC News Online users and also an ex-member of parliament used to stay in Virar in his school days. He passed out from Anasaheb Vartak Smarak Vidyamandir in Virar East. <laughs> <laughs> Military tank in Virar The military tank in Vera is placed at Viva College. The tank is of cargo war. The tank was retired in October 2013. It's been there since the 15th of August 2018. Topic: <laughs> VVMC Mayor's Marathon. Every year the Visay Vera Mayor's Marathon is held which sees stars from across the country criss-crossing the entire Visay Vera suburb on the race day and is also a source of great attraction as well as enthusiasm for the people of Vera. The 2014 version of the marathon was held on December 21 and saw cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar as well as Anju Bobby George as the chief guest. Saint Mother Teresa Church. Vera is home to the only church dedicated to St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta in the state of Maharashtra. The church was blessed by Bishop Thomas de Bray the first bishop of Asai in 2007. The church is located near the platform No. 1 of the Western Railway Station of Vera. They have a vibrant charismatic prayer service every Thursday evening, with special healing and deliverance prayers on the fourth Thursdays of every month. Infrastructure The growth of Virar is yet to be seen in full as the quadrupling of the railway line between Borivali and Virar has just taken place in 2007. The railways are still pleading the lack of sufficient number of rakes to take full advantage of the quadrupling. But the city has seen a lot of development in the past five years. The municipal council was upgraded to Visay Virar Municipal Corporation in May 2009. There are various housing and road transport development projects initiated by the corporation with the help of MMRDA, Mumbai. The skywalk in the west section of the city was one of the first amongst the many skywalks that were built near all the railway stations of Mumbai. It was the seventh skywalk in the city and it cost 91.5 million Indian rupees. Vera West Skywalk is 589 meters long with 4 meters wide walkway. The Skywalk was found to be the busiest amongst the others built by the MMRDA by recording a footfall of 58,038 commuters during peak hours. It was followed by Santa Cruz Skywalk with a figure of 37,546. The Vera East Skywalk is uniquely built as it goes right over the total lake, situated in the backdrop of the huge VVMC Corporation building. A viewing tourist gallery is built in the middle of the 285 meters long skywalk, for people to have a look at the scenic beauty just above the lake. Virar Alibog Corridor Project is an ambitious project undertaken by the MMRDA which is looked upon as a major developmental milestone in the history of Virar. 
The 10,000 rupees crore project is expected to provide seamless connectivity by the metro as well as by road from Alibog to Virar. The corridor will bypass the western and eastern suburbs and also the routes which will witness growth in the future. The proposed alignment will connect four crucial national highways, NH8 Mumbai Ahmedabad, NH3 Mumbai Agra Delhi, NH4 Mumbai Chennai and NH17 Goa Mangalore Kerala. The MMRDA has claimed that the 140 km corridor will reduce the long commute to barely an hour. Phase 1 of the corridor will be of 90 km from Virar to Panvel. Phase 2 will be of 50 km from Panvel to Alibog. Governance <inaudible> 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 Virar falls under the jurisdiction of the newly created Visai Virar Municipal Corporation VVMC. It primarily comes in the Nala Sopara constituency for the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly elections and in the Palgar constituency for the Lok Sabha elections. For all the three seats, the ruling party, Bahujan Vikas Agadi BVA, has showed its dominance. The BVA has won 55 seats out of the 89 in the VVMC. Thus Virar elected its first mayor in the form of Shri. Rajiv Patil who was also the ex-president of the preceding Virar Municipal Council. For the Legislative Assembly seat, Shadich Thakur, a BVA candidate and the son of ex-MLA of the region, Hitandra Thakur, won the seat in 2009, defeating Shirish Chavan of the Shiv Sena by more than 40,000 votes. He is just 26 years of age. Earlier in the 15th Lok Sabha elections, people voted for Balaram Sukar Jadav, also a BVA candidate, from the Palgar constituency, who went on to become the member of parliament representing the region, defeated Bharatiya Janata party rival, advocate Chintaman Vanga, by 12,358 votes. 